bio is. So that's why I ask. But I definitely appreciate you. How you pronounce your name again? I don't want to butcher nobody's name. Be unique. Be unique on the back streets with your girl, Cole, man. I definitely appreciate you rocking with me, man. You got to introduce yourself to the world. Let everybody know who you is, where you're from, and what you got coming. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Be Unique. You know what I'm saying? Born and raised in Chicago. But like you said, I got Columbia, South Carolina on my bio, too, because that's like my second home. I spent a lot of time up there. I got a lot of connections out there. And so, like, I put that on there, too, just to show love to that spot. Show love to Columbia, South Carolina? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The show love to Columbia, South Carolina. Even though I'm born and raised and from Chicago, like, I'm in Chicago right now. Okay. What part of the city are you from? Um, so like originally I'm from uh, Rogers Park, which is like on the north side, but uh, I'm I've been on the south side for a minute. Um, I'm on 79th. Okay, okay. What got you into music? Uh, really, I've been into music since I was a kid. Like, ever since I can remember, I've been like just really into music, mm -hmm. just listening to it, singing it, rapping it, and uh, I've been writing since I was a kid too. Really. Okay. Okay. And uh, who were some of the people like that you listened to growing up, like influenced the sound? Um, really, like it's a it's a it's a range of people, like a lot of different people. Like you know, um, I'm a big fan of like, well, Biggie. Obviously, you know, I'm a big fan of Biggie. Like, okay. uh, Jay Z, uh, Wayne. Like, uh, being from Chicago, like Lupe Fiasco. Oh, like Kanye West, man. You know what I'm saying. And be unique. You said a yeah. legendary name right there, Lupe Kanye. How did? How, why do you think the style kind of went from like backpack rap to like drill rap? Uh, that's a good question. Um, David, I, I don't really know. Like, you know, it's 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 weird because you're right. Like Chicago used to be like real lyrical and like backpack rap and like all that type of stuff but like um and then it just like went a big change but i feel like a lot of those artists that we talking about like they really got their deals in in like new york or something like that you know what i mean and like back in the day there wasn't really no labels in chicago like mm -hmm. nobody was really like there's no labels out here there's no labels out here still so like that didn't help the wave because there wasn't really no labels down there wasn't a lot of exposure yeah, yeah. It, it wasn't really no labels out here. Like, you know, I'm not really sure how, how Do or Die and, like, Twister and them really got on. I guess they was just grinding and, they, you know, they had, like, hot songs. But, like, you know, they was definitely huge in Chicago. Like, I definitely was big fans of Crucial Conflict, too. Like, you know, they was real big. Do or Die, uh, Twister, like, Bump J's, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I could yeah. Sean is, like, the list go on and on of, like, those type of rappers, you know what I mean? You name it some legends too, brother man. How did you get your name? Be unique. You said be unique. Uh I mean, that's just like something that like my first name start with a B. First off, I used to go by Lil B for a long time. I was going by Lil B, but it was just so simple. Like, you know what I mean? And people would be like, Oh man, like when you hear Lil B, they gonna think that you rap about one thing. But like at that time I was rapping like real introspective. I was, you know, rapping real crazy stuff. And they'll be like, man, that's too, that name is too simple for you. You need to like come up with something more unique. And I was like, okay, be unique. I like that. And it's like also a message too to people to like be unique and be yourself and be different. Man, for real, for real. Sh sh what's some advice that you can get to these artists that's watching? <clears throat> um, if I could like tell you something real quick, I guess I would say like, uh, don't give up, like, you know, continue to keep going, even if you're not really seeing the results that you necessarily want at the time. Like, you got to uh, notice and appreciate the little progress that you are making. So, you know, continue to keep going and don't be afraid to put money into, like, what you're doing or, like, you know, invest in, in yourself and your music. Invest, like you just said, man. And talk about some of the music, some of the projects that we need to be listening to. Okay, yeah. So, like, um, the newest song I got coming out right now is called uh, Autopilot. Like, that's going to drop in, like, the next week or so. Um, that's going to be a hard track. That's just, like, the track that's motivating, talking about getting money. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 
talking about also just not giving up and just stand tr true to like your mission or your grind or what you're trying to do like you know waking up every day and just like putting in the work that you need to do to get that so like that's really what i'm into a lot of my songs are gonna be like you know uh it's gonna sound like a little crazy when i say this but i feel like if you you listen to this music that I'm about to drop is really going to help you to get rich and get what you want to get out of life and get money. Cause I'm going to be talking to stuff that's really going to get you in the mind state of grinding and going after what you want. Man, for sure. Show. And how has your sound changed since you put out new wave? Oh, wow. Since I, that's a good question. <laughs> that's a good question. Uh, I mean, I still, I guess I still kind of make, I can make music like that, that new wave type stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. I do kind of make <laughs> stuff like that sometimes, but like, I guess more so like how it's changed. It's like my beat selection has changed a little bit from that okay, sound. I can like, tell. You know what I mean? Yeah, like the type of beats that I'm picking are a little different. Uh, I'm trying to be a little bit more personal and talking about like uh, more personal topics and stuff that people can relate to like emotionally than just kind of like on some flex type stuff. But I do like to talk like flex type stuff too, though, you know, still. I feel that. I feel that. Any uh, collabos, anybody in the city that we need to be checking out? Um, yeah, like uh, I got a um, I got a few collabs coming out. I got a song with uh, Sauce Gohan. Uh, he he be I know you out in Houston, right? Like he be out in Houston uh, a lot too. Okay, he's that's from Chicago. Chicago. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's from Chicago. Me and Sauce Gohan got a song coming out real soon. Uh, yeah, we about still. to shoot that. Yeah, we about to shoot that soon. Uh, How y'all make that's dope. That's dope. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's 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 one y'all gotta look out for. We have to do like another interview after that. Man, you drop. gotta send that to me, man. I got. I'm gonna have to break that down here. He's that's dope because I know exactly what you're talking about TSL because you know they yeah. be out there in the shot uh, a lot. You know, moving around and shit too. That's dope. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Like we're not too far from each other. Like I say, I'm on 79th, you on 73rd, so. You know, it's only like a couple blocks. It's not that far. Like seventy ninth, seventy third, man. You name some legendary blocks. Is it a big difference in uh those two sections or not really? Uh, from like you know, like the distance isn't very far, but it is kind of like uh, a a bit of a difference between like his section and my section. It looked different, like you know what I mean. It's like different activity going on, but it's it's like I say, it's not far. Like you know what I'm saying. It's still like. The same type of stuff that's going on over there is going on over here, but it's just a little different. Like, you know what I mean? Shit show, man. Whatever happened to Chance the Rapper, man? He put the shot on the map back in the gap, man, with a crazy different sound, man. Like, it, like whatever happened to Chance? Um, I don't, you know, I don't really, I don't know Chance personally. I never met him before. Oh, okay. But, uh... I don't know what he got going on. Honestly, like he probably just chilling, like, you know, enjoying his success. But I did, I, I do like, I'm not going to say like, I don't see him because I definitely do see like in the past, like a few months ago, like he had posters up around the city. Like, you know, he, he definitely still active in the city. He had posters up for like something that he was dropping. I Is it, man? And you got the song that, that's going to be with Sauce. So what was the name of it again? The one with me and Sauce Gohan, uh, that one's um, already known. Mm, what a name! I like that. Already known. I mean, that's just like some some lingo, like type. You know what I mean? Like in a city, somebody might say something about whatever. You'd be like, "Man, I'm already known." You know what I mean? So I it's part that. of the hook. I mean, it's just I you know. That. I feel like that. No, I'm not signed to nobody except for like my own. You know. Uh, I got a label called Hardheads Entertainment, um, but I'm not really. I, I work with a lot of different people, you know, and I'm I'm cool with a lot of different labels and stuff. But I don't have paperwork with anybody, really. I feel that my if I butchered the name, I'm, my eyes playing tricked on me. I meant to say Hardheads. I'm thinking about hustling all that type of shit. By by apologies, man. Is it hard to break as an artist from Chicago? Like blow up. Uh, it can be, and it can't be like, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's so, it's a lot of people in the city. So it's a lot of like, it's a lot of competition for one. Like it's a lot of different rappers out here. A lot of, you know, eyes can go all over the place. And then if like people are like choosing sides and stuff like that, it's like, you know, politics with everything. But, uh, I feel like you can blow if you do it the right way in your city. 
because like I said, it's a lot of people here. So, and I feel like people support in Chicago, people do support. Like if you're doing something and you're doing it the right way, right. you know, they're you know, they going to support it, but it is kind of disadvantages because we very far from like anything else. Like it's just Chicago and it's nothing else around us. Like not close to Atlanta. We're not close to Chicago. We're what not about close Detroit? To like as far as the music scene with Detroit, y'all kind of close to them. Yeah, we is kind of close to Detroit, but, you know, it's still, like, a good, like, i say, like, a five-hour drive, probably. I'm not really sure, because I've never done it before, but, okay. like, I, I know, like, um, it's no, it's no, it's no, like, as far as I know, I don't really know too many people that's going back and forth like that between Chicago and Detroit, gotcha. but it's, it's nothing, like, going on, but I just don't, you know, I don't really know about that, and I don't really know about that scene, but I've been out there, because, like, like I said, I'd be in South Carolina and I'd be with another rapper called Country C. And like I'd be out there in Detroit with him because he got a song with uh Bezo. But oh, like, shout out Country C. How long y'all been tapped in? Um, you know about Country C? I've seen him out you've been promoting him on your page. I don't know him personally. Okay, yeah. Uh Country C. Um me and him been tapped in for a few years. Yeah. That's my dog. Like, you know, he real big on what he got going on and you know, we um we just we've been connected for a couple of years. Damn man, damn, that's dope, that's dope, man. Anybody else in the city that you wanna work with that you know like it's kinda hard to get to with like a dream collabo? Um uh, or outside the city in the world. Well, like as far as we talking about in my city, I'm gonna talk about some other collabs I got going on too. Um I'm gonna be working a lot with uh my boy Keys Carter. Like he got <laughs>